Hi, my friends. Welcome to today's CKLA lesson for Unit 8. Today, you're going to need a couple of things. So today, what I need you to get for me are a whiteboard, which I have one right here. I don't know what. Here it is. Grab me a whiteboard and a dry erase marker or a sheet of paper and some crayons. Either one is perfectly fine with me. As long as you have one or the other and ready to go, we are going to party hardy because we're going to practice some lines today. So you're going to need a whiteboard, dry erase marker, or a piece of construction paper and some markers or crayons. So go ahead and pause me and then you can go get that stuff. All right, my friends, first things first, what we're going to do today is we're going to say some phrases, or these, my friends, are actually stickers. So what we're going to do is I'm going to say a sentence, and we're going to clap for each word, and then we're going to say how many claps. We're going to show the number of claps on our phalanges, on our fingers, okay? And... All you need to do is you need to give me your ears. So give me those ears. So nice and quietly, and here we go. So our first one. I'll read it, and then we'll clap it, and then you're going to show me, okay? So let's read it. Dogs are pets. Are you ready? Dogs are pets. Show me. How many words? How many claps? Three. Good job. Ready for the next one? Milk is white. Are you ready? Milk is white. How many claps? Three claps. Are you ready? This is a big one. Are you ready? I like cats and dogs. Are you ready for this one? I like cats and dogs. How many words? Five. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Look at me. Oh, that was a good one. Ready? Let's clap it. One, two, three. Look at me. How many claps? That was a big six. Six. Right, last one. We eat lunch in the room. Are you ready? We eat lunch in the room. How many claps? Six claps. Good job, my friends. Kiss your brain. Kiss your brains. That was a good one. All right. Now, you're going to need your whiteboard. Get those whiteboards out. Are your whiteboards out? Now we're going to practice some lines, but we're going to do it in a fun way. Try to do it in a fun way. So on your board, you obviously don't have the little people that I have. But you are going to use your dry erase marker, okay? Use your dry erase marker, and we're going to draw vert, uh, vertical lines. So we're going to start at the pig, and we're going to draw a straight line all the way down to the bug. So you at home, you should be on your piece of paper or your dry erase marker, dry erase board, and you're just going to start at the top and go to the bottom. Start at the top, go to the bottom. In your hand, you should be holding your marker correctly, not like this, not like this, backwards, just like this. Okay, now let's do another one. Let's go from the cap to the fox, straight line down. You at home, you're going to go from the top, and you're going to go straight line down to the bottom. Ready for the next one? Next one, you're going to start at the band. 
and go straight down to the cat. Van, straight down to the cat. And the last one, we're going to start at the doggy and go down to the net. Start at the doggy, go down to the net. So we should have done how many lines? One, two, three, four straight lines. From the top to the bottom, top to the bottom, top to bottom, top to bottom. Those are our vertical lines. Now we're going to have a little fun. So either erase your board now or get another sheet of paper. Ready? We're going to start over here on this corner. Put a dot. Put a dot in the corner, just like that. Okay? Now we're going to go across. Go straight across. We're going to go from the right to the left, straight across. Just like that. Now we're going to make another dot right here. Make another dot. And then we're going to draw a line straight down to the bottom and then make another dot. So we made a dot. We're going to draw a horizontal line straight across to that dot. And then we're going to draw a vertical line straight down to another dot. Ready for this? Now let's go from the left to the right. Draw a horizontal line. Going from left to right to this dot right there. And then we're going to take this dot and we're going to go straight up to that dot. What did we just draw? This is a square. We just drew a really cool square. And a square has four sides. One, two, three, four. Look how cool that is. All right. Should we draw another one? I think so. Oops. Let's draw one more square. Ready? It's time I start here. Let's say we make. Let's make something with the squares. Want to make something with the squares? I like that idea. Let's make some. Okay. You ready? Make a square. The square and then put a smaller square right in front of that square then make a little horizontal line and then make another square Just like that. and then make another little horizontal line and then make another square another horizontal line and one more square so that's one two three four squares and a little square here okay ready now let's draw some circles we'll draw a circle there and a circle here let's give each square two circles circle Circle, circle, circle. Do you know what this is? We kind of sort of drew a train. And then you can make a nice long horizontal line there. And a long horizontal line there. And then you can make your tracks. Chugga, 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 chugga. Chugga, chugga, choo choo. It's on the train track. You can maybe do a rectangle here with the smoke coming out. Do some curvy lines. There's our smokestack. Chugga, chugga, choo choo. Look at that. We did our square 
We did our circles from the other day. We're doing our curvy lines. We're doing our horizontal line. And we did our vertical lines. Look at that, how talented you are. And we made a really sweet tray. Cool beans, huh? Nito Frito. Okay, my friends. What you are going to do for me now is you're going to hop over to Seesaw. And then on Seesaw, you are going to um, work on Lesson 8 worksheets. Um, if you have the workbook, you are going to take a picture of the workbook pages. And you can upload the pictures into Seesaw that way, if you'd rather do that. But everybody's going to take a picture of the work that you just completed. So I want to see everybody's squares and everybody's choo-choo train. Okay? So upload those for me too. So upload the squares that we drew and the choo-choo train that we drew. Okay? Thank you guys.